Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over how to find the diameter of a circle if you know its circumference. So you know the circle's circumference, how do you use that information to find its diameter? So we know the distance around the circle, how do we know the length of this segment right here? A segment passing through the center of the circle, which is a diameter. Well, we can use our formula, C, the circumference, equal to pi times d, and of course this is a very handy way of finding the circumference when you know either the diameter or the radius. Of course, because diameter is equal to two times the radius, we also have the formula that circumference equals pi multiplied by two r, or more commonly referred to as two pi r, but of course it's the same thing. So then using this, we can easily solve for our, dia our diameter by dividing both sides by pi, so we get d equals c divided by pi. And then of course if we solve this case we would end up getting a formula for radius, but that's not really what we're interested in right now. Of course if you can solve for diameter, you can solve for radius just by dividing it by two. So here's our formula. This is how you do it. You just have to use this handy formula. So if you know your circumference, you just have to divide it by pi. Now I'll do an example for you, but I'm not going to do a messy example because I don't have a calculator on hand. So let's say that the circumference of this circle here just so happened to be equal to 3 pi. Can you see that? Yes, you can. That's in the frame. Okay, so that means that the diameter using this formula is equal to 3 pi divided by pi. And of course you can see where this is going, this is pretty easy. The pi's cancel out, pi divided by pi is one, so we are left with the diameter of the circle, the length from here to here, or from here to here. You understand what diameter is, anything like that. So diameter is equal, in this case, to three. So if the circumference uh, is equal to a multiple of pi, then you know that the diameter is basically just the um, coefficient that pi has, you know, just drop the pi, because you are dividing by pi to find the diameter. So that's the formula, that's how to use it. Of course, you're usually not gonna have numbers that pretty, but otherwise, um, you know, leave it in terms of pi or plug it into the calculator, uh, whatever's fitting for the situation. In any event, I hope this helped you understand how you can find the diameter of a circle, if you know its circumference, using this handy dandy formula. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black.